Well, good morning. I, I've received uh, an 8 a.m. briefing from our state meteorologists, and as many of you know, last night, Elsa made landfall in Cuba. It's back over water, headed north over the eastern Gulf of Mexico. As of 8 a.m., the National Hurricane Center Advisory located Elsa 55 miles west of Key West, and it's moving north, northwest at 12 mile an hour. Maximum winds are near 60 mile per hour, but Elsa is expected to be near hurricane strength tonight prior to making landfall in Florida. It will track parallel to the west coast of Florida today with strong wind gusts and heavy rain, along with the potential for isolated tornadoes. It will make landfall along Florida west coast tomorrow morning. It's important that Floridians uh, don't focus on the cone. Impacts are expected well outside that area. And if you look at how the storm is, it's incredibly lopsided to the east. So most of the rainfall is going to be east of the center of the storm. And right now there are tropical storm warnings for 22 counties along Florida's west coast. And a hurricane watch is now in effect for the Florida coast stretching from Pinellas County to Dixie. So if you're in those coastal areas, begin your preparations now. Uh, be prepared to be without power for a few days and having enough food and water for each person in their family, um, including for your pets. It's important that Floridians have weather alerts turned on, especially as we see the most impacts will occur overnight with this storm. Uh, please heed all warnings from local officials. If they ask you to evacuate your area, it's for your own safety. Uh, counties will open shelters if they issue evacuations. Now, we don't anticipate any widespread evacuations as a result of this storm at this point. It pretty much has been focused on people who are power dependent or who have special needs. There could be targeted low-lying areas in some of those counties. And so what we would just tell people is, is heed the warnings. Uh, if those orders are issued uh, or if those uh, orders are recommended, uh, please, please heed the call on that. But again, in terms of any type of widespread evacuation, we don't anticipate that that will be something that's necessary.